Welcome to Motivated Living. Changes on the horizon. What's up, wonderful world of YouTube? My name's Chris. This is Motivated Living. I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope y'all had a good weekend, a good Easter. Even though everybody was separated, I had to take my pooch dozer to the vet. He had to get his stitches removed. Sorry about the air. I'm leaving the windows open for him. I figure I'd talk to y'all. I haven't done a truck video <laughs> in a minute. So we get about seven minutes of hangout time on the way home. You should see him pop up. There he is. There's the big guy. He had to get his stitches removed. He had a procedure two weeks ago. Doing really good. We were worried about him. In a, a, a fairly recent video, actually my video where I had the, I was on the back of the sailboat, it was pretty recent, uh, I told a couple of people I would probably share why I chose to use a moving sailboat. So, a good friend of mine, at least I consider him a good friend, someone I admire very much, look up to kind of like a a role model or a someone I kind of look at as a mentor, someone who I'd like to emulate and I draw a lot of um, inspiration from I was talking one day and the term came up I told him, because I was talking about my channel not knowing where I wanted to go with it, so I know a lot of you guys are on here for fragrance and you know, it's hard to, especially right now, constantly be buying fragrances. And I don't know if I got enough support where y'all would be up to send them to me or have them sent for me to review. Nor would I, I ask that of anybody. Then again, I have a hard time asking anybody for help, period. But, so I was asking that. I said sometimes it feels like I'm on a sinking ship. Do I save the ship or do I jump and abandon the ship? Well, you don't abandon the ship. You go down with the ship. But he told me that he doesn't see a sinking ship. He sees a captain sitting out in the middle of the ocean with the sails up. So, you know, when your sails are rolled up, you can't catch the wind. And he's pretty much telling me that the wind's there. I just need to lower my sails. So that's why I used the, the whole boat thing on my last video, on my green screen. And the question, you know, that often comes to mind, to me is, because he asked me, like, well, what do you want out of your channel? Where do you want to go with it? I don't know if it really lines up with the fragrance thing. I mean, I love fragrances. I love smelling good. I love how they make me feel. I love how they help other people as they help me, you know, or like they've helped me. Because when I started the channel, it was more so, it's, it's all been geared toward positivity, sharing my bumps and bruises along the way, or things that have helped me to overcome other situations with other people to help uplift them. Because ultimately, when I started this, I wanted to... I had the goals of being like this Tony Robbins type, you know, even like a Les Brown or, you know, just where I could help other people get on stage and talk to all these troubled kids and help steer them in the right direction. So it's kind of a, I don't know what I want out of doing YouTube. And I appreciate all y'all. And I know the majority of my support comes from the fragrance community. I've experienced seeing so much love and made so many connections and some really good friends from the fragrance community. You know, one of the first ones to really show me love I reached out uh, was Ross, TLTG Reviews. Got invited to the to the review the fragrance lounge on Facebook met some really solid people uh, some people that have grown near and dear to my heart you know so when it comes to that growth I feel 
some sort of way about the fragrance community. Just so much love. And I've heard of some BS too, but I've I haven't ever seen it firsthand. I know there's one hater running around. Um, just a miserable individual who likes to start a bunch of drama out there. It's never really affected me. I know he kind of peed on the channel a little bit, which is crazy because I stayed out of all the BS with the guy and everyone bashing him and just, I stayed out of it rather than bashing him myself because the guy had never screwed me over or sold me anything fake. Granted, I never bought anything from the dude. Uh, but, you know, to each is their own. I don't have time for the BS. So, just like on Facebook, if you see one of your friends post something that you don't agree with, or it's a video you don't agree with, you, me, anybody, has the ultimate power in just scrolling right on the by, you know, and, or just going to the next video, rather than stooping to a lower level and being a jackass in their comments or whatever it may be. I'm just babbling now. But the words of the day are, what do you want out of whatever it is you're doing? What do I want? You know, YouTube started to help inspire people, and it was a hobby. And there's a lot of other stuff going on that are taken away from time from it. Those are my excuses, my reasons. But I, I like the idea of entertaining folks, and I am trying to wrap my head around better being able to do so, because I like the idea of entertainment and laughing. And I am almost at the casa, and wife is texting me. So, I may upload this, I may not. Y'all have a great day. Be blessed. Keep your heads up. Stay focused on what drives you. If you keep it fun, it never becomes a burden. So, have a good, have a good day, everybody. Be blessed. Peace.